Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about why farmers have different row spacings. Well, it's pretty interesting as you drive down the road in the spring and you see uh, some crops are really narrow rows and they're close together and others are quite wide. And you may be thinking, okay, why is it like this? And then you go a little further and you see corn that could be in a 30 inch wide row and in other places it might be in a 15 inch row. And you say, wait a second, that's the same crop why do they use the different row spacings? Okay, so ideally as farmers what we'd like to have is even spacing between plants in all directions. But I think about corn for example. Corn is kind of difficult to harvest. There's no way to just roll through the field, basically mow it all off and bring all those ears in and get them in properly. So by having corn heads, we have individual rows and you bring one row in with each head. You pull that corn plant in, take the ear off and everything works out pretty well. So we look at even on our own farm, we say, okay, could we switch from 30 inch rows down to 20 inch rows? But then I go, wait a second here. That's going to cost us a lot more money for that corn head. And I don't really know if I want to spend an extra 50 or $100,000 well, to have it's, that. Plus it's every tractor that's going to drive down the field. That row spacing is going to dictate what size tires you have and how wide that wheelbase will be on any of the pieces of equipment that run through that field. So farmers may be set up for 30 inch wide rows and they've got uh, the tracks on all of their equipment set to follow those rows. They aren't going to switch between, well, let's do 30 inch rows in this field and but, 20 over here. They're probably going to do 30 inch rows for all their row crops. Yeah, but one of the things that there is now is what we call tram lines. So for example, we've had a drill in the past where it would divert the seed from that track that we want to have driving through with our sprayer. It would divert that seed to the rows next to it. So basically we plant twice as thick in the rows next to it and have no seed in those two rows right where the tire would run. So that technology is certainly out there. So somebody could have narrow rows on most of it, yet just leave nice strips there for where the tires would have to run on the equipment. All right, let me give you just a couple of examples of why farmers might choose some different row spacing. So let's take soybeans, for example. Soybeans can bush out, so they could be in wider rows, like 30 inch rows, for example, but soybeans can also self thin to some degree. And if you're in a narrow row, like in a drill, you might be in a seven and a half inch or a 10 inch row spacing. Well, those soybeans, instead of bushing out, they can just grow a little bit taller. So they can really flex to what kind of row spacing you have. By going to narrower rows, the crop can canopy can come quicker so the plants can shade in all the rows faster holding moisture and protecting the soil so it doesn't get the hot sun beating down on the soil. The other thing is that hot sun that's what we want to catch with our leaves. We want to catch all that sunlight energy so they can capture more of that energy in a short growing season area, like as you go further north in North America. Plus, when you have the narrow rows, you get the faster crop canopy, which chokes out weeds. So for farmers struggling with weed control, they want to go to narrow rows. Now, on the other hand, why would you go to wider rows? Well, the number one reason is to let more air go through those rows. So for example, on our farm, we've had a lot of problem with sclerotinia white mold terrible disease in soybeans, it literally can take 100% of our yield. But if we have wider rows, then we have more air moving through and we have less disease pressure. So as you can see, there are a lot of different reasons why farmers may choose one row spacing or another depending on the crop and the equipment and the other situations they've got going on in their farm. Well, one thing they may have to switch row spacings up for is to do a better job controlling our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 